What's up, everybody? It's Jordan, and welcome to the Sports Dude Hind Show. You know, we are less than two weeks away from the NFL draft, which has not even seemed real. And, you know, this past Thursday, if you were unable to watch it, I did my uh, round one mock draft 2.0 with trades. My first round one mock draft, I did not include trades, but in this one I did. And it was a major trade at 31 that included the Cincinnati Bengals trading back. You know, at 31, Kair Elam, the corner from Florida, David Ojabu, the edge rusher from Michigan, uh, edge rusher from Purdue, George Carliftis, uh, corners, Tariq Woolen, Kyler Gordon from Washington, Roger McCreary, uh, Jalen Petrie, the safety from Baylor, uh, Trey McBride, and Sam Howell were all available by the time the Bengals pick with a 31st pick overall. And, you know, the Bengals actually traded back in this mock draft I did. They traded back with the Seattle Seahawks. Um, I think this is a tremendous trade for both of these teams, and I think this very well could happen. Um, in this trade, the Cincinnati Bengals received the Seattle Seahawks second-round pick, which is the 40th pick overall, and they received Seattle's third-round pick, the 72nd pick overall. In this trade, Seattle received uh, the Bengals' first-round pick, you know, 31st overall, and they received their seventh-round pick, 252nd overall. And I think this is tremendous for both of these teams, and I think this really could happen because when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals this past five or six years or so, the Bengals love to trade back in the second round. And I know this is a first-round pick, but it's basically kind of like a second-round pick because it's the second-last pick uh, until the second round, and it's so late, it's basically kind of like a second-round pick. So when you look at some of these trade backs the Bengals have had in the past, you know, it's kind of like a pattern. We've seen this time and time again. The Bengals traded back to get Joe Mixon. The Bengals traded back to get Jesse Bates. The Bengals traded back to get Drew Sample. The Bengals traded back to get Jackson Carmen uh, just last year. So we've seen this so many times this past five or six years or so. And I think this has a good chance to possibly happen again. If you have all these players fall at 31, I think it would be in the Bengals' best interest to trade back with a team like Seattle. And I think this is phenomenal for Seattle because Seattle really needs a quarterback. I know they have Drew Locke, and I know they just signed Geno Smith to a one-year deal, but both those quarterbacks are going to be free agents one year from now. And Seattle was kind of interested in Baker Mayfield, and we look at all the quarterbacks around uh, in the 2022 NFL draft, you know, all these prospects. In my opinion, the quarterback who is most like Baker Mayfield is Sam Howell. And that's why I have the Seattle Seahawks taking Sam Howell at 31, because I would much rather have Sam Howell, in my opinion, who is far more athletic uh, than Baker Mayfield on a rookie contract instead of Mayfield, whose you know contract is getting ready to expire soon. And it's important for Seattle to trade back in the first round because they jump teams who could possibly go after quarterback like the Detroit Lions and the New York Giants. But most importantly, the reason why Seattle trades back in the first round is because they get the fifth-year option with Sam Howell. And I think that's very important in today's you know NFL. If you want a quarterback, you try to trade back in the first round so that you can get that fifth-year option. That's very, very important. And, you know, you're very lucky to have that with your quarterback if you draft them in the first round. And I think this works out great for the Bengals as well because, like I mentioned, so many of these players were still available, you know, at pick 31, like Tariq Woolen, Kair Elam, David Ojabu, George Kaleftis, the edge rusher from Purdue, like I mentioned, Kyler Gordon, Roger McCreary, multiple players the Bengals are interested in. And they do not move a ton of spots back. You know, they go from pick 31 to uh, pick 40, which to me I think is phenomenal for the Cincinnati Bengals. And I think, you know, all those players I mentioned, I think there's a very good chance some of those players are even still available at pick 40. And that's why I have the Bengals with their trade back with a 40th pick overall. They get corner from UTSA, Tariq Woolen. I would freaking love this pick so much. Tariq Woolen is one of my favorite corners and one of my favorite players in general in the 2022 NFL draft. He has phenomenal size at 6'4". He ran a 40-yard dash of a 4-2-6. That is incredible. He would add much needed depth to a not weak but could use more help a corner group in the Cincinnati Bengals I think this trade helps Seattle so much and I really think this you know trade helps the Bengals so much because the Bengals also get a third round pick in return you know they like I said they get this 72nd pick overall you can get a guy like you know maybe Jeremy Ruckert the tight end from Ohio State maybe you can add some more edge help maybe a guy like Maja Saunders the edge rusher from Cincinnati this trade to me 
um, would really benefit both teams here so much. And uh, the majority of those players, like I mentioned, uh, the majority of those players were available at 31. I fully expect the Cincinnati Bengals to trade back into the second round, get some more draft capital, maybe in the third round or so. And you know, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Seattle trades back in the first round especially trying to get Sam Howell, who I think could possibly be the last of the five quarterbacks taken. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about this, you know, mock draft uh, trade here. I think, you know, this is, this is a trade who, which I think could possibly end up happening. Uh, that kind of does want a video here, kind of recapping my mock draft trade. Uh, if you're new to the channel or if you've seen my videos before, I would really, really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time on the Sports Studio Hind Show.